Hello guys, my name is Harinder Jangra and in this video we are going to discuss about how we can create Windows firewall rules. Uh, most of the time you have seen your system client agent code failed due to Windows firewall. So how we can uh, troubleshoot this? You have two options. Uh, put your machine uh, in Windows firewall in off condition or you if you don't want to put your windows firewall in off condition then you can create some windows firewall rule and you can deploy those rules through active directory group policy so today we will discuss about which rule we can create for windows firewall rule and how we can create and how we can deploy to our client machine so that if our windows firewall is in on condition then also we can install our SSM client agent so guys uh, through active directory group policy we have to allow we have to create some inbound and outbound roles so file and printer sharing this is predefined rules and we have to create and we have to allow file and printer sharing through both rule outbound and inbound rules but in inbound we uh, need to allow only WMI we don't need to create uh, outbound rules for WMI and there are some ports that we have to allow for example uh, TCP uh, sorry TCP 1433 inbound and 4022 these rules we have to create for inbound and these ports we have to allow for outbounds let's come on our SCSM server this is my SCSM server this is my active directory and this is my client machine where I didn't install SCSM client agent and uh, my windows firewall is in off condition on condition so when you try to install a system client agent first of all let me do some actually this is the account that I have used for client post installation account and this is not a domain admin account that's why I need to add this account you can see uh, SSM client agent is not installed in this machine now let's try to install SSM client agent in this machine This machine name is 7U8D. Okay. So this is the machine. Actually, earlier I have I had installed SSM client agent, but later on I uninstalled SSM client agent to check Windows firewall issue. So now again I want to install SSM client agent in this machine. So I am doing I am manually initiating. Right click on this install client next. Yes, next next and close so let's read the uh, log files ccms.log through ccm.log you can read previous deployment information about the ccm client agent installation Oh, 
actually it has a tam thing to connect okay yes it has attempting to connect i actually i'm using client post account for client post installation uh, client post installation account uh, i have configured client post account it has tried to access admin dollar of the particular machine but it got failed due to windows firewall so now i don't want to put uh, windows firewall in off condition so that what i can do I can create some uh, inbound and outbound rules and that uh, those rules I can deploy through Active Directory group policy. This is my Active Directory. Let's uh, create a group policy. Just open group policy management. Expand your forest right click on your domain and create a gpu you can put any name right click on your uh, group policy click on edit expand policies expand windows settings expand security settings and there is an option windows defender firewall with advanced security just expand this and just expand this now we have inbound and outbound rules so first of all we have to configure we have to create two rules for uh, inbound and outbound where we need to allow file and printer sharing so right click on your inbound rules and click on new rule first of all i am going to create inbound rules for file and printer sharing this is predefined rules and simply you just need to select a predefined so uh, select your predefined rules and uh, choose file and printer sharing click on next now we are allowing all these things next yes allow this connection finish same thing we have to do for outbound rules right click on outbound rules click on new rules predefine and uh, choose file and printer sharing click on next yes we want to allow this connection finish now we have created inbound and outbound rules for file and printer sharing now we need to create a rule for only for inbound roles that is for WMI new rule predefine windows management in instrumentation yes next next yes allow that's it so we have created these rules now we need to allow some ports so which port tcp 1433 4022 these will be for inbound and these will be for outbound so first of all let's create inbound rules right click on new rule now i am allowing some ports so choose ports click on next use tcp and provide your port number so 1433 you can provide both ports in the same time or you can create different different rules so 401433 and 4022 so what do you need after put it comma you just need to press space and then you need to 
type another report so click on next allow yes and we can provide name tcp1433 and 4022 next And now come on outbound rules we need to define 80 and 443 this is this will be um, uh, only for outbound rules right click on this and click on new rule port next yes it would be TCP and uh, port number will be 80 comma space 443 click on next yes we want to allow next next and tcp 80 and 443 finish so guys this is the group policy that we have enabled for uh, our domain so by default it will be link to cross verify you can check this should be link enabled and uh, now you just need to run gp update on your active directory and your client machine so that these rules can applicable now go to your client machine and just run gp update Now you can see this request for client post installation uh, request has been added in uh, retry box. So we can we can cut this CCR into from our CCR retry box and we can paste this in CCR box so that immediately it can process again once you click on refresh automatically it should go on so now again it has tried to yeah so now you can see uh, SCSIM has tried to access admin dollar of this machine using the client push account and finally it, it got success now you can see it has connected to admin share because the inbound rules and outbound rules has been applicable on the machine and now your uh, service has started on client machine so now you can check uh, task manager CCM setup is running it means it's allowing it's not blocking and you can check your firewall go to your windows firewall And click on advanced settings click on inbound rules you can see these rules has been applicable right so guys uh, in this video you have seen how we can create uh, inbound outbound rules to exclude our CCM setup.exe so that our SCM agent has uh, can install on a machine where our windows firewall is in on condition so these rules and uh, ports you have to allow thank you for watching my video if you have any doubt you can comment on uh, this video definitely I will uh, answer you thank you for watching please subscribe my channel